All right, thanks for staying with us. World Cities Day is celebrated annually on the 31st of October to promote the international community's interest in global urbanization and push forward corporate, uh, or rather cooperation amongst countries in meeting opportunities and addressing challenges of urbanization and in contributing to sustainable urban development around the world. It is also Halloween Celt, right? Uh, so believes that what... <laughs> On the night before the new year, the boundary between the world of the living and the dead became blurred. <laughs> <laughs> now, on the night of the 31st of October, they celebrated the Shanghai when it was believed that the ghost of the dead returned to earth. Okay, so let me, let me confess. I was watching back-to-back -back horror, horror movies. <laughs> This is something I will not do on a good day. But this weekend, I said, well, what is it, sir? I will watch it, you know. <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't, have any bad, I didn't have any bad dreams. But <laughs> hey, maybe now I know why. Because <laughs> Halloween day was coming. <laughs> but let's talk city, right? Um, I like this urbanization of cities, but it, you know, it's coming with a lot of challenges as mm -hmm. well. And again, especially what we see around uh, global warming and how the climate, climate is change. changing yeah. drastically, you know. So... Whatever it is that we're doing, let's just try to keep um, um, putting in at the back of our minds somewhere that okay. we need to protect. So let's think more of green energy, clean energy, green energy, clean energy to okay. help. I mean, today someone sent me a video of the Dangote refinery. Mm. Trucks are already lining up. <laughs> so meaning that very hours. soon... Yeah. They start to lift oil. Yeah. So, I mean, so these are part of urbanization. But at sure. the same time, you know, what would be the effect on the, the, uh, the, the atmosphere, environment. the environment? Yeah. All right. So, quickly, who are we starting with? Chinelo, what did you find for us in the news? Okay. As we all know, Elon Musk has acquired Twitter. <laughs> and he seems to want to be making his money back through Twitter users. Um, okay. So, Elon Musk has asked that... For verification, you now pay twenty dollars per person. So reports have emerged of a proposed twenty dollars monthly charge to be imposed on Twitter users with verification badge under the new ownership of ah. Elon Musk. Kilo <laughs> <laughs> hey! Musk wants to launch a pay-for-play verification system in which verified users are charged twenty dollars per month. Ah. Uh -uh. So now, if you have the blue tick mm. by your name, just you know that. You have to pay for it. Please. And he has said that this is this um, price is subject to change. Oh. <laughs> Let me just tell El Elon Musk, Joe, my blue tick <laughs> name. <laughs> don't blue tick my name anywhere. I saw, I saw a tweet that said $20 came. I don't want to be verified anymore. I just want to be a normal Twitter. No, my anymore. own self. I'm a normal Twitter. Please, people should not verify me. Oh. I take out and beg you. Ah, ah, but really, why? Yeah. Something that was free. Yeah. So someone's also. So everything it has. It, it's not about monetizing things for goodness sake. How Besides, twenty dollars per rich? month is a lot of money. Of, do you know from how many users? Do you understand? Mm. It's a lot of money. Nah. For us Nigerians, that's what we're looking at. Now that dollar is doing, yeah. let's say eight hundred mm. naira. That's how much? Ha ha. Mm. Sixteen thousand naira per ha -ha. month. That's a lot. Well, well, maybe he's looking at it from the angle of if I have to provide the verification and authenticity platform mm. for you. No, the, you but that's $20 it. per month is too it's much. It's a lot of money. If you want to do such things, maybe $100 for the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Do you understand? Something yeah. like $80 yeah. for the year. It's a, it should be an annual subscription. Not, not month. Do you know what monthly $20 is? <laughs> it can feed. No, we're not joking here. It's it can feed money. a family, a complete family of mm. five. True. It's true. Uh -uh. true. 8000 there. I, I mean, sorry, 16,000 16, naira per yeah. month. That's too much. Yeah, that is somebody's true. monthly income. Of course. That's not fair. True. That's not fair. We didn't, we didn't say you should buy Twitter to not change it to this. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> it's not fair. I even heard that uh, Hush Puppies page had been pulled yeah, down. They, they yeah, they pulled it down. Yeah, they, they pulled it down. The verified page. Mm -hmm. When they were busy verifying. <laughs> Please, <laughs> do you have your story? Okay, so um, uh, 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 just a couple of hours ago, I came across um, some news about... Um, road transport guys you know these commuters going on strike mm. you know and they had cited a lot of reasons for taking that drastic decision and it was supposed, it's supposed to go on for seven days i mean initially i thought it was just okay i mean maybe overnight they'll find a way to resolve it but as at this morning there was a lot of commuters on the road so if this goes forward 
for seven days. Mm. I can't even imagine what would, happen. what would happen in a city like Lagos. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy. I think it's also tied to my story because I had taken the story on the... So they are calling out... MC Oluomo, I hear he's been trending on, um, what's it called, on Twitter, okay. over this and back strike mm -hmm, now, because mm -hmm. part of what the drivers, now this is the committee, they say they call them the Joint Drivers Welfare Association mm. of Nigeria, and they have, this seven day strike is over alleged extortion yeah. by the members of the Lagos State Parks and Garden, um, um, what's it called, Management Committee. Now, if you go on our roads, especially, I don't know about any other road, this Lekki Equestrians, mm -hmm. they are very vicious. You will see them in between traffics, right? When it was the NURTW mm -hmm. that was managing all of those things, and there was some level of this yeah, one now, eh, there, there yeah. is a lot of like attacks. Like, if you do not, I've seen them display right in front of me every time that I'm commuting that road. So, I understand that part of extortion, yeah, right? And now, again, this income, I keep on asking, Where how, does it go? yes, how is it accounted for? Because this is not small money. Some bus drivers, if they tell you how oh, much it, they are paid, because it is per trip. Yeah. As you are passing, and again, on this load. stretch yeah. of Lake Ekpa Expressway, for instance, mm. there are so many checks mm. where they have to stop and pay a certain amount of money. They give them tickets and all of that. So I don't understand how these numbers work for the driver. And guess what? What they were now saying that... At the, ultimately it backfires on the commuters because now oh, if you charge me yeah. for instance in a day if mm -hmm. i'm paying like a, a, a three thousand naira mm -hmm. on levies alone yeah. where do you think i'll get that three thousand i'll have to put it back on the commuters how much is our minimum wage again exactly. how much how much can people truly afford mm. so this is not I, i've said it we have to find creative ways as a government to earn money you know, there are some things that Very it is good. just uncalled for because this is like adding undue hardship Very to an already yeah. tense situation. Tough. You and know, if it, 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 you, I mean, it goes on to affect goods and services because the grassroots, yeah, yeah, from markets to they need to transport their goods, and again, that reduces already you're spending so much on transport and then you go to the market so your purchasing power has reduced mm -hmm. you have less money to even buy basic amenities absolutely. from the market absolutely really, really let me take a few tweets that people had talked about because okay. from the somebody says hgk i think from a tweet he says the situation at lagos bus stop this morning no buses mm -hmm. no mc olu or more or agberos to provide transportation now make una foresee how utterly useless agberos are yet somehow <laughs> lagos has made them uh, what's it called Very, demigods yeah. Yeah. and this is so true um somebody says wali who tweeted that lagos state enabled this shenanigans commercial bus drivers paid the dues through their nose mm. ordinary Lagosians bear the brunt of non-state actors recklessness I am glad ordinary drivers are beginning to, um, they are organizing themselves. Yeah. Then this final um, person says, um, Lagos commercial bus drivers begin strike. It's going to be a tough period for us in Lagos. Yeah. It is so crazy how much control um, non-state actors have on the Nigerian economy. Agberos are bringing the state to a halt. And the state government is shamelessly helpless so about this. Yeah. Do you this understand? Is this crazy. is where the real situation is. This is undue hardship. It is uncalled for. Um, there was a reason NURTW had sanctioned an MC Oluwami. Yeah. They, they sanctioned him and suspended him. Instead of the Lagos State Government to allow that process to go through due process, mm. they created a whole new um, uh, what's it called? Agency. Uh, uh, agency for him. <laughs> That's the Lagos State Parks and Gardens. You know, like, it doesn't, so what you're saying is that you are above... You see, and you see these things here. I get you. I'm a friend of the government. I would love for you to give me those kind of favors. Mm -hmm. But you see, when we continue to do things like this, mm -hmm. what eventually happens is that you then tell people that some people uh, cannot be touched. Yeah. You are not doing anybody but yourself. Because guess what? Those things end up coming back to haunt you. Mm -hmm. That's what is going to happen. Absolutely. It's a sad situation. Let's take a break. Oh. Let's discuss our elections. <laughs> <laughs> Well, before I go, as, go outside now, and you are saying, hey, we're going to pass and guard is there waiting for me to come and pay fine. All right, we'll see you after the break. Stay with us. <laughs>